I'm Ivan Zoot and welcome to another video in our continuing series at Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. Today we're asking and answering, somebody's asking, we're answering the question, what's a great way to solicit client testimonials about the work you do, the service you provide, and the business that you offer to your community? And when I looked at this question and I kind of thought about how am I going to put together a video on this, I came up to or I came to one of my great ideas when it comes to the effective use of Instagram for client testimonials. You know, lots and lots of hair cutters are on Instagram. It's a popular platform. Lots of hair cutters have lots of followers on Instagram. And in many cases, many of those followers are other barbers and cosmetologists. Well, if you're using the platform to promote and grow your business, you're trying to promote and grow your business to other barbers and cosmetologists. How well is that going to work? Barbers don't buy a lot of haircuts from a lot of other barbers. Cosmetologists, the same thing. Also, if you're using your Instagram platform, many times, many of your followers, if you don't use the page professionally, are already your clients. They're people that already know who you are. They know what you do. They know where you do it. So posting pictures of your work on Instagram to build and grow your business, among other things, requires that you're very, very effectively leveraging the use of hashtagging and geotagging where you are and who you are and what you're all about. There are probably other people online who are better experts on the subject of hashtagging and geotagging who can provide you with tons of great tips for doing hashtagging and geotagging to effectively leverage your Instagram. But what I want to talk to you about today is the idea of leveraging your client's Instagram to truly reach new and different people, to truly spread who you are, what you do, and where you do it to an entirely different new group of people within your community who are not already purchasing haircuts, who could potentially be purchasing haircuts, and who could be your customers. So here's my big idea. Don't take a picture of the haircut with your phone. Take a picture of the haircut with your client's phone. Don't post the picture to your Instagram. Simply ask the client to post the picture to their Instagram. Follow me here if you would. If you're on Instagram and you have a thousand followers, most of them are barbers and cosmetologists and some of them are clients, and you post a picture of one of your client's haircuts to your Instagram, a bunch of barbers will like it. A bunch of your clients might comment on it. But you can't buy groceries and gasoline and send kids to college with likes and comments. You need business. So the idea is, say to your client, hey, let me take a picture of your new haircut with your phone. Click. And then you hand them their phone and you say, hey, do me a favor. Post your new haircut picture to your Instagram. Let's say your client only has 200 followers on Instagram, a fraction of what you have. But odds are all 200 of those followers are friends of theirs who they know and are people you do not know, you do not cut, who do not follow you, and who are not in the beauty and barber business. That one picture immediately goes out to 200 potential customers, real potential customers, who could buy real haircuts with real money. Sure, your client will get likes and your client will get comments. It's a beautiful haircut. That's why it's worthy of a picture on their phone and on their Instagram to expose you to their community. Not putting another picture up for your community who isn't buying another haircut from you anyways. So when it comes to client testimonials, one of the most powerful ones can be your haircut on their phone on their Instagram. We want to help you build and grow your business here at Jatai Academy, J-A-T-A-I dot net on the web. I'm Ivan Zoot at clipperguy.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.